nursing prep push yourself in nursing preparation with smart way practice this quiz on www.thestudyblog.com physiological integrity an unresponsive patient with diabetes is brought to the emergency department with slow deep respirations additional findings include blood glucose 450 mg slash dl 24.9 millimoles slash l arterial ph 7.2 and urinalysis showing presence of ketones and glucose which of the following statements best describes the underlying cause of this patient's presentation option a nocturnal elevation of growth hormone results in hyperglycemia in the morning option b hyperglycemia causes oxidative stress renal dysfunction and acidosis option c hypoglycemia causes release of glucagon resulting in glycogenolysis and hyperglycemia option d lack of insulin causes increased counter regulatory hormones and ketone release right answer is option d lack of insulin causes increased counter regulatory hormones and ketone release dka prevents glucose from entering the cells the body releases and counter regulatory hormones and undergoes lipolysis in an effort to increase glucose resulting in hyperglycemia ketogenesis and acidosis when a drug's effect is increased after a second drug is given this interaction is called option a potentiation option b absolution option c antagonism option d synergism right answer is option a potentiation potentiation is a type of drug interaction potentiation occurs when two drugs are taken together and the action of one drug increases the action of the other causing the pharmacologic response to be greater for one of the drugs a patient diagnosed with ulcerative colitis is admitted to the medical unit when assessing the patient which of these findings would be of the most concern option a rebound tenderness option b oral temperature of 99.0 f 37.2 c option c bloody diarrhea option d borborigmi right answer is option a rebound tenderness rebound tenderness is a sign of peritonitis that could be the result of rupture of the colon it is a clinical sign that occurs during physical examination referring to pain upon removal of pressure not during application of pressure bloody diarrhea is a common finding because of bleeding lesions and anal excoriation a temperature of 99.0 f 37.2 c is within normal range and chronic inflammation may keep temperatures within the high normal range or above with a stroke patient what is the best position for insertion of an esophagic ng tube option a low fowlers option b high fowlers option c trendelenburg option d supine right answer is option b high fowlers high fowlers position is the best position to avoid aspiration have an emesis basin and suction equipment nearby since tube insertion can cause temporary nausea when caring for a patient who has a pneumothorax which of these actions should the healthcare provider include in the patient's plan of care option a encourage the patient to breathe deeply and cough regularly option b vigorously massage the tube every 2 hours to promote drainage option c empty the drainage chamber every shift and record the amount option d change the insertion site dressing daily using aseptic technique right answer is option a encourage the patient to breathe deeply and cough regularly regular deep breathing and coughing will help re-expand the collapsed lung the dressing is changed per protocol or as needed when it becomes soiled routine massage milking of the chest tube may excessively increase intrapulmonary pressures and may damage the lung
Tracking the amount of drainage each shift is accomplished by marking on the collection chamber. The healthcare provider is assessing the glucose level of a patient with a diagnosis of diabetes. Which of these is most helpful in evaluating this patient's long-term glucose management? Option A. Fasting blood glucose level. Option B. Hemoglobin A1c. Option C. The patient's food diary. Option D. Urine specific gravity. Right answer is. Option B. Hemoglobin A1c. The A1c blood test gives information about the average levels of glucose for the previous three months. It is the most accurate method of tracking a patient's compliance. The A1c test is based on the attachment of glucose to hemoglobin, the protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen. In the body, red blood cells are constantly forming and dying, but typically they live for about three months. A child with a peanut allergy has also recently been diagnosed with asthma. The healthcare provider instructs the parents on ways to prevent the child coming in contact with peanuts. This is because the child is at increased risk for which of these problems? Option A. Painful rash and urticaria. Option B. Anaphylaxis and respiratory failure. Option C. Projectile vomiting and diarrhea. Option D. Headache and seizures. Right answer is. Option B. Anaphylaxis and respiratory failure. The child who has asthma is at greatest risk for death secondary to anaphylaxis, a severe type I hypersensitivity reaction caused by a food allergy. Type I hypersensitivity reactions can cause a range of signs and symptoms depending on the severity of the hypersensitivity response. A patient is prescribed a thiazide diuretic for the treatment of hypertension. When teaching the patient about the medication, which of the following will the healthcare provider include? Option A. Be sure to include a number of foods in your diet that are rich in potassium. Option B. I will teach you how to take your radial pulse before taking the medication. Option C. Take this medication each day with a large glass of water after your evening meal. Option D. Stop taking this medication if you notice changes in how much you urinate. Right answer is. Option A. Be sure to include a number of foods in your diet that are rich in potassium. Because thiazide diuretics produce an increase in urine output, the patient should avoid taking the medication in the evening so that sleep is not interrupted. Potassium is lost in the urine along with sodium and chloride. So the patient should be instructed to include potassium-rich foods in the diet to avoid hypokalemia. Examples of potassium-rich foods include avocados, spinach, sweet potatoes, yogurt, and bananas. The patient receiving key mouth therapy is experiencing stomatitis. The healthcare provider should offer the patient. Option A. Vigorous oral care with a commercial mouthwash. Option B. Hot soup for lunch and dinner. Option C. Plenty of ice chips between meals. Option D. Warm saline rinses four times each day. Right answer is. Option D. Warm saline rinses four times each day. Stomatitis is irritation of the lips, mouth, tongue, and or opharynx which occurs when key mouth therapy kills healthy cells that are rapidly dividing. It can impair nutrition, speech, sleep, and quality of life. Warm saline rinses are non-irritating and help eliminate bacteria which can cause infection. Other nursing interventions include gentle oral hygiene and administration of a topical analgesic as ordered by the physician. The healthcare provider is evaluating effectiveness of discharge teaching for a male patient following an abdominal aortic aneurysm, AAA, repair. Which of these statements made by the patient indicates the teaching has been successful? Option A. I should avoid being around people who are sick. Option B. It is possible that I may experience some sexual dysfunction. Option C. I will take my radial pulse each day and keep track of the rate. Option D. 
I will be able to resume my usual workout at the gym. Right answer is. Option B. It is possible that I may experience some sexual dysfunction. Male patients often experience erectile dysfunction after AAA repair due to decreased blood flow to the pelvic area during surgery. Also, the expanding abdominal aorta can compress and damage the nerves and blood vessels of the penis. Patients are taught to palpate pulses below the level of the repair, not at the radial pulse. The strength and quality of the pulse is more important than the rate. Thanks for watching. You can also practice this quiz on www.thestudyblog.com link in description box. If you have any doubt ask in comment section and you like our video then do like, comment, share. Subscribe our channel for regular updates.